action. You are about to enter a random this video. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Katie's Knitting Corner. Recently, I've seen some very angry people, and I think they just need a little bit of relaxation in their lives. My favorite way to relax is with some needles and knitting. So let's go to my favorite knitting store today. We'll find out exactly what the hobby's all about and why it helps some people relax a little bit. It's very sensual in the sense that you feel the yarn. You can feel it when you're threading it through your fingers and manipulating the needles with to make the stitches. Um, I really enjoy it um, for that aspect. It's a wonderful creative outlet um, that especially if you have to start from the beginning and pick out what kind of yarn you want, what kind of pattern, what color, which is very important. Um, and I think a lot of people enjoy being able to produce something handmade and give it to somebody or give it for themselves. It, um, it's a more holistic process. It's a wonderful thing because it, it makes you feel good to do it. It's good for your brain. People love gifts, handmade gifts, and I have an entire wardrobe. This Cascade 220 is really popular, as is the LRA Classic, because um, it's a great, really inexpensive, but really good quality worsted weight yarn, and because it's wool, you can felt with it, which is a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the, and these are not even half of the colorways that they have. This is the Korean. This can have up to 50 colors, dye lots, in one ball. This alpaca. You have to feel it. That is incredibly soft. Yeah. And I haven't met an alpaca, but everybody who has says that they are just fascinating creatures. So if you haven't knit anything with the alpaca, you might want to try some. We have all of this bamboo yarn that is new, flooding the market now. Well, not flooding, but <laughs> it's new. And, whoops. <clears throat> Soy silk. And those are really good for people who have wool allergies or don't like the itchy feel of wool on their skin. If it's in the winter, I would say something with merino wool because I just absolutely love the way it feels. Um, if it's in the summer, I really like Pima cotton or something that's a cotton merino blend. My husband says if she's sitting, she's knitting. And it's almost true. I'm knitting a different method than she is. This is called continental, where you hold the yarn in your left hand rather than your right. There's a lot less motion involved and it's a lot faster. Learn to read patterns mm -hmm. and charts. That's important. Um, go to somebody, try and get help if you don't understand. Don't let it put you off and say, no, I can't do it. Get with other knitters. Uh, if you are able to, come to the Knitting Guild in Knoxville. So now that we've learned the basics of knitting, some different products you can make, hopefully you too will be inspired to put down your weapons and let's all just knit along. <laughs>